this video is regarding the uh, ES after that I have discussed regarding the BAS that is a platform as a service so this is the third type of service or delivery model that is software as a service so watch this video to understand what is SAS this is Ranjiraj and you are streaming on the Steady Beast so let's begin so uh, first of all uh, we had the ES that is infrastructure as a service which provides different kinds of infrastructure virtually over different machines then we had the BAS uh, that was a platform as a service uh, which allows different developers testers to write and deploy their application as well as to test run and manage uh, so that the need for infrastructure uh, is completely removed from that uh, now this type of service that is the software as a service uh, are also provided by uh, those vendors which i have discussed uh, from the uh, pass uh, delivery model like you have the google windows microsoft etc etc so in that uh, they basically provide the infrastructure and the uh, what you can say the platform for writing those applications now in SaaS they provide different kinds of services now what are these different kinds of services these different kinds of services could be uh, a mail server means you can access a particular mail uh, messaging service then you have uh, for storing different kinds of files or folders directory service then for security purpose security management password and for image storing, image service, and uh, many more editor, text editor, and many things. Now, one simple example of this SaaS is that uh, when you go to build an application, or not an application, but when you go to uh, build a website, especially uh, most of you use uh, the GoDaddy.com. So in that you just uh, means they provide everything. You just have to drag and drop those, and just have to put as per your requirements. Like uh, you have those. Uh, WordPress and all to write and create your application. Then you have uh, file Zilla for storing and for storage, extending storage, and all different kinds of uh, like services they provide. So that is a very good option uh, for you to uh, completely write your applications and to maintain uh, different kinds of uh, files or storage folders at those uh, particular clouds. So that is provided by the SaaS. So next going to the definition, SaaS is a software distribution in which the applications, those applications or services are centrally hosted by a cloud service provider and is made available to the customers means they can avail those services over a fixed price. Uh, pricing would be there for accessing those over the internet means they can use the internet uh, and can access uh, the services and applications. Now this SaaS is also called as the on demand software means uh, on demand you can uh, purchase different kinds of software and use it as per your requirements next in SaaS, the software and all the data associated are centrally hosted on the cloud service provider that is google microsoft rackspace etc etc now uh, how are these uh, resources of the services used so these are accessed by using a, a thin client like thin client i have said uh, the browsers and the client is the hard disk and also by using a thin client mainly uh, google browser or chrome or uh, that kind of stuff uh, safari uh, opera mini and all you can access these services over the internet and these services when you deploy over your application you can use them freely for the cost you paid to the service provider so that was a small description regarding the sales uh, like we have the advantages and disadvantages of the service as well. It is easy to buy uh, Means you need uh, have an estimation that uh, you want these services for that particular services. You will be providing uh, your quotation and uh, They will give a fixed price and you can buy it and use it So that is very easy to buy and less hardware is required for this uh, less hardware means you just uh, need a laptop and all your gears and rest all services are provided by this cloud service provider means you just need a laptop and an uh, active internet connection for writing this or to maintain this and avail the services low maintenance is required as you need to maintain only a laptop or a pc as per your requirements and no special hardware or software versions is required for this uh, whatever version you have in your desktop or the pc uh, with that you can avail those services from the internet Next is the disadvantages, the security issue as I have told uh, before in the previous two service models uh, SAS is also having a security issue Then latency issue, latency is issue means that uh, if you order for a particular service then at may sometimes depending on the internet availability uh, it may not be provided at the fastest possible manner so that is like a dependency on the internet is totally there 
so that is the third point total dependency on the internet next is switching between the saas vendors is very difficult uh, like in the past also we had the uh, this kind of point so an application written from one uh, vendor is quite difficult to move to another vendor so that becomes like a kind of uh, a designing issue and all so with saas also that kind of uh, services migration to different particular vendor is also difficult so this was all about the saas service delivery model so hope you enjoyed this video from this video helpful please hit like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe thanks for watching this video